So that, overall, what is it about Motherwell that makes you feel as if it's a, a good move for you at the moment? Well, they're a massive club, of course. Um, as you know, I'm involved with the Scotland national team, so moving up this far north isn't a problem with me. Um, I'm quite used to it up here. I have, to, I have to come up here three, four times a year anyway. Um, I've got family in Glasgow as well, so I'm familiar with the surroundings really. So I've settled in quite quickly, so I feel at home. Everyone obviously wants to come and play first team football. Yeah. What are your, your thoughts about trying to break into this defence that's already here? Well, it's going to be difficult. I'm not just going to walk in, but that's down to me to prove to the gaffer that I'm, that I'm good enough and I'm sharp enough to, to slot straight into the starting eleven and hopefully prove him, prove him right to put me in there. You've even been training alongside the guy who's got quite a few caps at the heart of defence for yeah. Scotland. Is that a good learning experience in itself? Yeah, definitely. It's just good to, to, to pick his brain and, and um, speak to him about his experiences and he can pass some good advice on to me to help my game. So, so yeah, he's been good so far. Have you come across any of the guys up here from your, your time in Scotland? I'm not sure. Did you overlap with Chris Cadden? In uh, any yeah, here? I have in one of the squads. Um, I think it was one of the under-21 squads. I think he was involved in. Um, but yeah, only once. So he's a familiar face. How long, how long, how long have you been involved with the Scotland set um, Since under-17s, I think it was, when we went to... That was a squad that got to the semi-finals of the Euros. So, and then, yeah, since then, did you I went always, right through. Did you always think that maybe you could come up here on loan? Is that something that's in your mind? Yeah, I was always... I've never really... I've never really... Um, like, crossed it out. I've always... Yeah, it's always been an option. So, in the past, it hasn't really popped up. So, but when it did, I just... I jumped at it. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that the key, obviously get to the stage you want to be playing yeah, well. yeah, that's all that matters at the moment, just getting first team football and building my experience. So. What did you make of the, the game on, on Saturday watching that? From the very good standard of football. Two great teams, both play very good football. Um, tempo was very high, um, fans very passionate um, and that's what I want to be a part of. So I want to be, I want to be um, playing in occasions like that. So hopefully I get the opportunity to do so. How much of a learning experience is it as well when you you know you come up here and it really is you know kind of must win games Saturday afternoon mm. and you see how close the bottom of the table is and yeah. every game's like so important. Is that yeah. a vital thing to add when you're at your stage of your career? Yeah, definitely it is because playing at under twenty threes, you know, it's not people say it's not really quite realistic and it to be fair it's not really because you don't have to win. They say it's more about development and improving. So. It's good to come up here and see how much it means to to get the three points to all of the lads. I've been on like short loan stints at like uh, conference prem, so I kind of have a rough idea of, of what it's about. But yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's massive. What were those loans like? And what did you what was the oh, did you experience? What the new things did you experience there? What did it open your eyes? Well, what the difference was down there, they didn't really care about how you played. As long as you got the three points, that's all that matters. As far as they're concerned, you played well if you got the three points. So, so yeah, it's obviously I want to I want to perform to the best I can, but I also want to be part of a winning team. So if I'm in there, if I manage to get myself in there, and we're winning. That's the most important thing. What's the manager said about how he sees you fitting in here? I think you know Ben and Steve have played probably every game so far. What's he said to you about that challenge and perhaps where he sees you fitting into the team? Well, we just said I've got to stay patient. I've got to wait for my opportunity and then hopefully it comes. So he feels from, from what he said, it sounds like I, I may get an opportunity um, during my loan spell. So And when I get it, if I get it, it's down to me to keep my place. So it's all in my hands, really. You predominantly a centre-half? Have you played yeah. left-back? Uh, yeah, I've always been a centre-half. I can play left-back if need be, but it's not my, it's not my first position. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can play left of the three, in the middle of the three. So, so yeah, I'm all good. Are you, um, did you speak to Andy from the Scotland setup before you came up here, just to give him um, a what had happened a bit earlier? Not really. Not really. As soon as it came through, I was pretty, I was pretty confident that I was going to make the move anyway. Okay. So, I know about the club. They're they're a massive club. So I didn't have to do too much research about the club. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was, I was happy to come straight up here and catch the flight the next morning. I think it 
during the time that you've been with Scotland, under 17s, 19s, 21s, that you've spoken to a lot of other guys about football up here as well. Is yeah. What have they said about what your impression has been of it before you came up? They've all had positive things to say. There's the likes of Greg Kilty, he's at Kilmarnock playing. Aidan Nesbitt from Celtic, he's on loan at Morton, I think he is now. Ryan Hardy from Rangers, he's on loan. I think he, I think he's still at St Mirren. Not too, oh, is he at Wraith now? Yeah. So, yeah, they've been, they've all been playing first team football uh, for a while now, and they've all had good things to say. They love it. They said there's nothing better than playing first team football. I just want to get a taste of that. Does that make you a bit jealous when you come <laughs> A little bit, a little bit, but yeah, hopefully I get my chance now.